Hello, and welcome to our video series on high-end GNSS testing with the Roden Schwartz SMW200A. In another video, I gave an introduction to the user interface, but in this video, I will show you a specific example, how to perform a multi-constellation, multi-frequency GNSS simulation. We'll do this using the SMW to simulate GPS and GLONASS in frequency bands L1 and L2, and here we have an example receiver as well. So let's get started. First, I'll put the SMW into the dedicated GNSS advanced mode to make it a little bit easier to work with. Going into the GNSS block and under simulation configuration, I see the different systems and signals that are set up by default. I have here already GPS being simulated on L1 and L2. All I need to do is add GLONASS. To make this scenario a little bit more interesting, Instead of using a static receiver, I'll choose a moving receiver. And I have a dedicated wavepoint file here of a race happening in Germany. On the right side, you can see the simulated position as well as the planned trajectory. All I need to do now is turn on the baseband and turn on the two RFs. In this multi-frequency scenario, L1 is generated on RF output A, and L2 is generated on RF output B. As our example receiver only has one RF input, we use an external signal combiner in our test setup. Now if we look at the GUI, we can see it sees all the GPS and GLONASS satellites being simulated, and it's also calculating our current position. On the SMW, if we go back into simulation configuration and go to the satellites tab, here we see all the satellites currently being simulated in blue. I can adjust the power of all the satellites by adjusting the reference power. I can also choose to individually adjust satellite power levels here by adjusting a power offset. I can even turn a satellite completely off. Now the SMW GUI has many tools to monitor what's happening with your simulation as it's running. Under the simulation monitor, I see two views. Here on the left is the sky view, showing all the satellites in the area, and which ones are currently being simulated. On the right side, I see the power view of all the different satellites. Now I can change these views. I could change the power view to instead look at the map view. If I wanted to look at the planned trajectory of my receiver and its current position. On the left, maybe I'll change that instead to attitude view. Here I see vehicle dynamics, how the yaw, pitch, and roll are changing in real time. So this concludes our episode. You've seen how to create a multi-constellation and multi-frequency scenario, how we can change parameters on the fly, and what tools are available to monitor the simulation. Check out our other application videos where we show more of the SMW's capabilities for high-end GNSS testing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.